Hello, Michael Sigenthaler, creator and illustrator for Skits. Now, today we're going to continue on with our perspective drawings, but instead of being really big piece of paper, we're going to go small. We're going to go to 11 by 17, which is standard size for comic booking, and we're still going to do it with rubber bands. We're going to do it with rubber bands, paper clip, and some tape. So this is going to be really exciting. It's going to be cool. So uh, strap on in. We'll show you how to do that. All right, so the way we would normally do this is we'd find out, say, this is the area that we're going to be drawing in. I got a light drawing here. I don't know if you can see it, but what we would do is we'd find out where our vanishing point and our horizon line was going to be for this drawing, you know, and I got it roughed in, so I kind of have a rough idea. Like, one point would be right here, and one point would be right about over here. So what I would do is I'd you know, put little points here and here, or I would take little scraps of paper and tape them to the board and draw the little points in. That way I don't draw on my table because this is a hundred year old table. So I'll try not to beat it up too much. So that's exactly what we do. We just do that and then we, you know, use this and you know, and you'd figure out where your lines are. You're, and you just move your ruler around everywhere. Well, that's fine and dandy, but I like to move a little faster. I like to have a little more fun with it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this standard, this little rubber band and this paper clip here, and we're actually gonna create a horizon line and use the paper clip to move the, uh, the rubber band around to make our lines. So let me show you how to do that. First off, you need to cut your rubber band in half. So we'll take out the knife. Cut the rubber band in half. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie up the ends on the rubber band. And the reason why I'm gonna tie up the ends is because when I tape it down, it'll pull out from underneath the tape, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna put a little knot at the end so it won't come out from underneath the tape. So let me go ahead and do that right quick. There's one. And there's two. So I got a rubber band with two knots on the end. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape, and of course, I like to use duct tape. You know, I, I don't want the rubber band swinging out from underneath, you know, so I wanna put it down real good with duct tape. And like I said, I already kinda know where I want it to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it down right where I, I need it. So there, and then I take my paper clip, and my paper clip goes flying. <laughs> okay, so we got rubber band down, pieces of tape here. Probably could use a little bigger of a rubber band, but I just ain't got one, so we'll just have to roll with it. And so I got my paper clip here. Now all I gotta do is just Find exactly where I want my lines. Bam, right? All right. So my duct tape just wasn't holding. So I went over to some old masking tape that I had and this seems to be doing okay. So there you go. Sometimes it just gives you some problems, you know? So anyway, bam. Right. Then if you want to come the other side, well, I don't have to do that, but go the other side. There you go. You know, that's all you really need to do. And what I've done is I've, I've twisted it so that I can hold it in place. Um, but you can move it any way you want here. 
So there you go. That is how you do perspective drawing with a rubber band and some paper clip. All right. Now, just for an added bonus, I'm actually going to do one more little thing here. I'm going to add another rubber band. And we'll do three-point perspective. I'm gonna tie it to the bottom of the paper clip. Now I can put that under there. Now I got three point perspective. Yeah. So now if I want to get my verticals, all right. Lines. Of course, I got this a little twisted here, but I could probably untwist it a little bit and get a little bit of a flat line. There we go. So you do this, and now you got three point perspective. So Easy peasy, fresh and breezy. A lot easier than doing the old uh, ruler to the point. So there you go. Three point perspective with just a couple of rubber bands, paper clip, and some tape. Can't beat that now, can you? Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial I did on uh, perspective drawing two point and three point. And of course, you could just do a one point perspective if you just wanted to use the, the bottom one here and, and you don't have to worry about that. But anyway, just thought this was a little cool thing. You know, we used to do this back in college. It was just for quick drawing and stuff like that. We just got tired of always having to lay out our points and figure out and then using the rulers and all that and it's like man there's got to be an easier way so rubber band paper clip bam there you go you can do a two point perspective you can do one point two point three point or you could get another rubber band up here bam 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 four point perspective how you like that i mean this is just you know basic stuff it's raw it's fresh it, it's just it's just a lot of fun to do things like this you know and you can take it anywhere you want you know uh you don't necessarily have to be somewhere where you have big rulers and all that sort of stuff. You can do it in your sketchbook. You can just take down a rubber band in your sketchbook and do something. Maybe I'll show that at some point too. Maybe that'll be the next one. I'll show you how you can do it in your moleskins, your sketchbooks, stuff like that. So, hope you really enjoyed it. Hope this helped you out. And again, if you have any questions, uh, you know, just put them there in the comments. I'll help you out the best I can. We'll. Uh, you know, do a few more of these. We'll show you exactly how you can, and maybe we'll get a little more in depth with it too if people are enjoying this. Uh, anyway, thank you. Uh, remember, go back skits. We got three books, three covers, three variant stories, three variant stories, man, for one exciting adventure. We're the only people out there that's doing this, so go back us over there at Indiegogo and uh, enjoy all the fun of skits. You have a good day. Rubber bands, these things just keep snapping. Old junky rubber bands. Oh well, back to the store.